And uh, last week we started to talk about the idea of press and press as a movement, which is actually just an expression of a one of the eight ba men, the energy gates of Taiji Chuan, which is the G energy. And uh, classically, we, we do a, a press by bringing both arms together, either through the hands or the, through the wrists. I've seen it done where you put both the, the palms of the hands together or one palm on the heel of the hand, the hand on the wrist. Uh, also, I've seen it done uh, where you have the, you know, the backs of the wrist, you know, the back of, of, of one hand against the front of the other. So that creating that, uh, that's another way of, of doing a press. And, uh, but the G Jin is, is, is special because there's lots of ways of doing this, this form as a press movement. And a lot of them are very mechanical. And the one thing, the one radical departure that I want to emphasize is you're not pushing away from the earth to, to make the, the arms go out. And I'll just show you what I'm talking about here. The uh, way a lot of a lot of people do it is, is there's a, a sense of you're pushing, using your muscles to push away from the earth and arms of God, in which case there is a, a, um, um, the arms are both young and the legs are also young. So then everything is young and there's nothing really making that yin connection. So the what I would like to emphasize when we're moving away from a mechanical movement into an expression of chin or energy, where we're expressing energy through the body is that the, the lower body is sinking. So the legs are sinking down into the earth. We're getting very sung, sung kwa. And by doing that, we're dropping into that releasing downward and then allowing the arms to express the energy that as it comes out and, and goes like that. So I want to do it and um, more as just sort of a standing meditation to uh, just to familiarize with that, with that process. We initiated the discussion last week, but um, it's a fairly radical idea so I want I want to really uh, give it give it a chance to breathe a little bit. So um, uh, why don't you stand up and we'll uh, we'll start playing with that. So we're gonna begin by stepping out and getting the three pillars in. So what that does is it you know sets us up, makes the energetic connections, opens up to the big chi and freeze up the qua, unkinks the hose. So first of all, you want to feel the balls of your feet. And before I'm talking about feeling the floor with your feet as a way of accessing that superconscious state, a way of releasing thought forms. So just notice it right now, just by doing that, you can touch the floor with your toes, if you like. And just by doing that, we immediately shift into a superconscious state. This is accessible anytime you choose to do it. It also engages the earth in a conversation. We're opening up to the earth chi the yin chi of the earth. It's allowed, we're allowing it to enter through the bubbling well points in the, in, the, in the foot. By feeling the balls of the foot, we're creating a structure that allows that yin chi to enter. Now let's establish the yang terminal and reach for the crown of the head. Tuck in the chin, 
and open up the jade pillow gate. It's one of the key points for unkinking the hose, one of the major gates. Relax your lower back, drop your sacrum and feel the Weilu point, which is at the, in the coccyx. And feel that at the same time as you're reaching with the crown of your head. So you're dropping down your legs, your, your quad, everything is sinking, getting more sung as you reach up with the crown. So there's a elongation there. Relaxing the lower back allows that way loop or that uh, Ming Men point we were talking about before. You can actually just bring your awareness to that. If you want, you can just bring your, your hand back and just feel that, breathe into it. Just bring some awareness to that. And this opens up the gates along the spine, the Du channel or the governing vessel. Feel your index fingers. You can wiggle them a little bit if you like, just to, what we're doing is establishing our coherence there. We're bringing the whole system into, into, into unity, into a state of wholeness. Reach with the elbows, opening up the shoulder joints. Feel the chi in your hands as you're doing this. Reach with the uh, clavicular notch here on your, cl your clavicle, the, that little notch there right at the base of the neck, to the base of the throat. Feel yourself pulling up. And as you do that, it opens your shoulders, opens your chest. And keep going back and feeling sinking into your legs even as you're reaching with the crown. So you're going in two different directions. And just by doing that, you are creating a poles in opposition, which generates chi flow. And spiral down to the left, just feel yourself releasing into the quad and spiral down to the right. We're just letting go and sinking into the quad. Feeling the load, the torso is loading up. The quad is, is the point where the legs meet the torso. The torso is a unit, the legs are, so this is the, 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 the junction point there, which allows us to move and keeping the torso as one's one unit. And relax, bow forward slightly. So you're releasing the quads, you bow forward. You wanna feel the weight over the balls of your feet. Doesn't have to go very far. You just wanna just relax and, and release any muscular tension that's happening there in, in the hip joints. And as you straighten up, you're still, you're straightening up without pushing away from the earth. You're still sinking down and bring your hands up. You're scooping up energy as you're coming up here. Give your hands a little rotation there. Your arms a little rotation just to feel what that does. Notice that it generates chi. Just that, that simple conscious movement there. It also clears the mind. Feel your elbows, reach with those. And just notice that conscious movement and conscious feeling has that same effect. Creates energy and it creates that state of super consciousness. 
You move into a clear-minded state. Rotate the, the forearms so the palms go down, but do it. Turn and then back, turn. Just notice just that process of turning is creating a powerful feeling in your arms. This is, this is how we activate our jinn through conscious feeling, conscious movement. Now press down and feel the resistance of the space as you move through that. You make an important distinction here is that you are not resisting. You're feeling the resistance of the space. Your arms are very relaxed. But there you can pick up pushing against the of the air, the density of the air, if you like. Swimming through through the air. What this does is it activates the chin. Getting that feeling. Let's do that again. Rotate. Feel that. This and it's going back to our, our hacks about how to empty out, you know. If you just do this, just rotate your forearms, feel into your hands, you'll notice that you're you're doing exactly that. You're emptying out and you're taking control over your nervous system. And coming up, feel, feel the weight of the space of the air on your arms. You to the elbows. Rotate this back and forth. Just feel that little rotation there. Good. Palms down. Feel yourself pressing down on the on the space as though you were pressing down on a beach ball in a swimming pool, a float, just kind of pushing down. And so you're pushing, but you're not moving. There's no muscular intention, no muscular tension involved, but you're activating the nervous system so that it's ready to move. It's like you're pulling back the bowstring. And you're ready to, to release the arrow anytime you want. And press down. You're pushing down on that beach ball. Feel the chi in your arms, in your hands, your shoulders, in your feet. Feel the heat in your feet. Okay, pivot on your left heel, step out. And then you're gonna step forward with your right foot. And now you have, your weight is about 70% in your right leg. And bring your hands up. And bring the palm of your left hand against the heel of your right hand. And reach forward. Reach with your elbows, open your shoulder joints and sink into your right leg, reaching with the crown of your head as you do that. As you're sinking down, you're activating the yin energy coming up through your feet, filling your whole body. You're reaching with the crown of your head and that activates the yang chi from the heavens. Good. 
feel the relaxing your muscles so that you're allowing the arms to express the energy with a minimum of tension. Separate the hands and press down. Allow yourself to, to feel the neutrality of this posture. Allow your weight to settle into your rear leg now, about 70% in your left leg. Now feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee forward, set that. Release the right claw and so you're bowing forward slightly. You're coming up with the hands. Feel your elbows. Reach. Reach with your elbows. Reach with your wrists. Reach with the crown. Sink. So it's counterintuitive. How can this possibly be powerful from not pushing away from the earth? It's kind of like filling up a uh, like a like a tire or something. You're you're blowing it up as you sink down. You're more rooted, more connected, more energetically full. Separate the hands. Feel the left ball, set the left knee, sink into your left leg as your hands come down. Step back with your right foot, step forward with your left. And we'll go up the other side now. So left ball, set the left knee, release, sink into your left quad. Hands come up. This time the left hand is in front, the right palm on the heel of the left hand. And reach out, reach with your elbows, sink into your legs. Reach with the crown. Relax your muscles. Let the chi do the work. You're expressing your jin through the body. Your chi is taking shape, taking form. Feel any muscular tension and let that go. Separate the hands. To the right ball, set the right knee, sink into the right leg, release the right claw, hands come down, pressing down. Feel the chi in your body. Enhancing our awareness by fine tuning this and creating these quiet movements, we're enhancing the inner awareness the, uh, as we're uh, developing our access to the chin. Feel the left ball, push your left knee forward, set the left knee, release, sink into the left claw, and bring the hands up. Left arm in front, right palm on left, heel of the left hand. Reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists, reach with the crown, 
sink into your quad, into your legs. Feel that yin support. Move your hands a little bit and just get that, that feeling that what we we're talking about before, just your ability to make these small movements consciously enables you to, to get more familiarity in your nervous system. We have a tendency to kind of create algorithms to, to replace conscious movement. And so we're, we're busting up the algorithms by making these little these little movements, separating the hands, reach through the elbows, feel your wrists, feel your fingers, right ball, feel the, set the right knee and you're bowing forward into the right quad as you're bringing your hands down. Feel the chi in your arms, your hands. This G Jin is very powerful. It's a very young energy. It's um, very expansive. So you need to balance it out with a lot of yin, because the yin is the fuel that feeds the young ex expression. Step back with your left foot. Feel it. Step in. Take a deep breath. Exhale, disappear the chi. Empty out. Take a seat.